Seven of the NCHC's eight teams are in non-conference action this weekend, and we've got a look ahead in this edition of the NCHC Morning Skate, presented by The Rink Live. Number 7 North Dakota opens its regular season by co-hosting the Icebreaker Tournament at Ralph Engelstad Arena. On Friday, UND faces Army before battling longtime foe Wisconsin on Saturday. The Fighting Hawks tuned up for the Black Knights of the Hudson and the Badgers with a 10-0 exhibition win over Manitoba last Saturday. Freshman Jaden Perron led the way with a hat trick, part of a seven-goal barrage for UND in the second period. Preseason All-Conference pick Jackson Blake also had two goals and two assists. The Fighting Hawks last hosted the Icebreaker in 2011 and last participated in 2015, winning the tournament in Portland, Maine. Bemidji State is also co-hosting the Icebreaker this year. It's a long season, and, and, and but at the end of the day, you have to start on time and you have to try to be sharp and consistent in your play from the start because, you know, uh, you know we're getting into the non-conference schedule right now before we get into the conference schedule later on, and, and these are just as important games. Uh, to build pairwise points and build your body work to get in the national tournament and you know that's where you know uh, you know we lost traction early in the season we don't want to do that this year we want to make sure that we we focus on the job at hand and take care of business from weekend to weekend also this week number nine and ten st cloud state stays in state again this time visiting minnesota state of the ccha the huskies opened regular season play last weekend by splitting with another ccha foe in st thomas one night after losing to the Tommies 5-4 in overtime at home, SCSU grinded out a 1-0 win in St. Paul. Adam Ingram had the only goal while senior Dominic Bassey made 33 saves for the shutout. SCSU captain Dylan Anhorn, who missed the second half of last season with an injury, was the NCHC Defenseman of the Week, tallying a goal and an assist against the Tommies. Last year, the Huskies and Mavericks met three times, with SCSU netting two one-goal wins at home and knocking off MSU in the NCAA West Regional. 12th-ranked Western Michigan will play a home-and-home -home series with in-state rival Ferris State to start the regular season beginning Thursday in Kalamazoo. Friday, they make the short trek to Big Rapids. The Broncos opened the season with a 9-4 exhibition win over the U.S. Under-18 team in Plymouth, Michigan last Saturday. Tim Washi paced at WMU with two goals and two assists. Western Michigan has won its last eight meetings with Ferris State. It took a pair of games last season by a combined total of 14 to six. FSU meanwhile split with fellow NCHC foe Miami last weekend. Number 17 Minnesota Duluth hosts Northern Michigan of the CCHA this weekend. The Bulldogs hosted the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame game last Saturday, tying Michigan Tech 2-2 in a battle of top 20 teams. Luke Lohheit had one goal while NCHC Rookie of the Week Anthony Mangini scored his first collegiate goal and then tallied the deciding goal in the shootout. NCHC Goaltender of the Week Zach Stasekel made 32 saves and led all conference goaltenders with a 1.85 goals against average. UMD last played Northern during the 2021-22 season when it dropped two games in Marquette, Michigan. Omaha opens the regular season at home this weekend, welcoming Niagara of Atlantic Hockey. The Mavericks edged Minnesota State in Mankato last Saturday 1-0. Matt Miller scored with 2.40 to go in the game to give UNO its second straight exhibition win over the Purple Mavericks. Simon Latkozy and Sam Isley split the duties in the Omaha net, combining for a 38-save shutout. The Mavericks should be ready for Niagara. Last season, the Purple Eagles swept a pair of 4-3 games at Baxter Arena to open the season. Colorado College welcomes another foe from the East this weekend, hosting Union of ECAC Hockey. CC picked up a 6-3 exhibition win over Canadian counterpart Simon Fraser last Saturday. Noah Laba led the Tigers with a pair of goals, while freshman Brett Link had a goal and an assist. Caden Imberico had 21 saves and one goal against in two periods of work. CC and Union last met two years ago. The Tigers lost and tied to coach Chris Mayotte's alma mater in Schenectady, New York. Finally this weekend, Miami plays its first home games of the year when it entertains Canisius of Atlantic Hockey. The Red Hawks opened the regular season with a split at Ferris State last weekend. They dropped a 5-4 overtime decision to open the season, but rebounded for a 5-2 win the next night, thanks to four goals in the third period. Five different players scored for Miami in the win, while William Helene and Arter Taransky each had two assists. Last season, the Red Hawks picked up 5-3 and 2-0 wins at Canisius. We have one more player of the week to tell you about. Junior Jack Devine of third-ranked Denver had six points last weekend to earn NCHC Forward of the Week. 
He helped the Pioneers sweep Alaska on the road 7-3 and 5-2. Devine had two goals in each game, including both game winners, and had two helpers in Saturday's opener. Here's one more look at this week's schedule. 11 of the 14 games can be seen live on the official streaming platform of the conference, nchc.tv. And visit nchchockey.com for the latest news, scores, and stats as the NCHC begins its first full week of play. There's plenty of action this weekend, and now you're ready for all of it. Thanks for watching the NCHC Morning Skate, presented by The Rink Live.